Before I start reviewing these tools, please follow me on Instagram. The link is in description below. And just to know, if you follow me on Instagram, you will be able to see early videos and photos of making projects before I publish the video on YouTube. And all these gadgets I bought from eBay, all links will be in description below. And all together cost about $40, which is pretty cheap. Now let's start today's review of these cheap tools that I got from eBay. First one is this digital pocket multimeter that cost $8 and it's amazing, very small, handy and cute multimeter with all functions for basic measuring of electronics. This multimeter is model AN101 and can measure DC and AC voltage, resistance, continuous test, micro and milli amperage measuring. It has power off functions, so don't worry if you forget powering off and drain your battery. Manual and auto ranging, it works on 3V coin battery. Features of this multimeter are that it is small in size, stable and accurate, easy to carry and operate and durable in use. Ideal teaching instrument for students. Second must have tool is electrical cutting pliers and on eBay costs around $2. Next tool is most important and most used in electronics and it's soldering iron. Digital controlled soldering iron and on box it says high quality thermal soldering soldering iron. Hmm. Soldering iron. They miss a letter. Specifications of this digital controlled soldering iron with LCD display are working voltage from 110 volts up to 240 volts, output power is 80 watts, 
constant temperature work. Temperature range is between 180 and 480 degrees. Melting time is about 80 to 20 seconds and it weighs around 180 grams. On eBay you can purchase for around $12 and by my opinion it's a great deal. Digital Universal Battery Tester that can measure the voltage of AA, AAA, C, D, 9V and coin batteries. It works without internal battery. It's powered by the voltage you measure. Battery Digital Tester from eBay you can get for $3. Most awesome gadget is this Wi-Fi digital microscope with 1000 time magnification. Beside the microscope holder and charging cable, the microscope will have built-in rechargeable battery that makes this gadget portable and very practical. On top of the microscope there is micro USB port for charging and interface with computer. On sides there is power button and regulator for adjusting the LEDs. And this big roller is for focus. To mention that with this gadget you can capture images or record videos in 1080p resolution. In instruction manual you will find barcode for downloading the app. Install and only you need to do is to connect the microscope with your phone. Both iOS and Android operating system are supported. Link in description for this amazing gadget. In next minute or so you gonna watch some close-ups that I made. K6 headphones got this specification. Speakers are 32 ohms. Sensitivity is 108 decibel. Frequency range is between 20 Hz and 20 kHz and the microphone diameter is 6 mm. First to know, Onikuma K6 headset is compatible with various gaming devices such as Nintendo Switch, Windows PC, Mac operating system, iOS and Android devices, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. The headphones feature is a removable cable. If you're using PC, you can use the cable that splits at end to connect to both your mic and headphones outputs. If you are playing on PlayStation 4 or connecting to a phone, you can use the other optional cable which is 4 pin 3.5mm headphone and mic jack. By the way, the length of the cable is 2.2 meters 
and on controller you have on off switch for microphone and nice adjusting volume control. The microphone is omnidirectional, adjustable and super flexible to pick up your voice. The boom arm can raise it up and down to find a custom mic placement to achieve the best sound. This is microphone test. One, two. Test. One, two. It sounds cool. The pads on the Onikuma K6 are nice and very soft. The sight of the cups that make the contact with your ears have a nice material to add a pleasant softness. The cups are designed to resist being pulled away from clamping position. They fit nice and secure. The comfort of the headset is amazing. Also, the ear cups are used up and down to fit any head size. The color LED lights add super stylish touch, which is needed on a gaming headset. The Onikuma K6 have 50mm drivers that push out high-end sound quality. They are perfect gaming headset that plugs in and just works. The best part about this headset is that it's not trying to be complicated. You just have to unbox the headphones, choose your wire and plug it in. On eBay I found these cheap USB rechargeable batteries that you can power up anywhere and no charger needed. So I order and they cost about 6 US dollars. So here they are, USB rechargeable batteries, made in China of course, and wait one month to receive it. As you can see, you will get two pieces 1.2V USB rechargeable batteries with 450mAh of power and 500 rechargeable cycles. Behind the package there is specification on how to use the batteries and how long it needs to be recharged when they are plugged into any USB power outlet. First, I'm gonna measure how much they weigh, because if they are super light, probably are bad batteries. Each of them weigh 15 grams, both of them 30 grams, and just to compare, full Duracell battery weigh 25 grams. When you plug the battery to USB port, red LED light will turn on, that means charging. When the light switch to blue, the battery is fully charged. Next test is to see how much current they pull out when they charge. And we're gonna use this USB doctor gadget that show voltage, time, capacity and live current matter. The USB doctor shows that they are pulling around 150 milliampers, which is decent current for charging. Next test is to measure fully charged batteries. As you can see, both of them have around 1.3 volts. My final thoughts about these USB rechargeable batteries, besides they are super cheap, they are very practical because of one reason, and that's it, you can charge it anywhere on any USB power outlet. 